Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys um, how to do barrels runs and things. I've been doing barrels runs for quite a bit now, and I really didn't get any good loot. <clears throat> Not good, but you know, it is quite rare, and yeah. I really recommend doing barrels because it's something to do and stuff like that. Okay, so gear wise, first of all, um, set up your melee gear, and I'm using Farseer Helm because I'm mostly using Pipe or Staff, but this is going to be my melee gear for when I go down into the catacombs. You guys, I'll show you guys what that is later on in the video. Uh, get your uh, your um, mage gear out. I don't range because my range is low. But if you guys would be ranging, get your ranging gear. Get your spec weapon. Um, get this all in place and everything. I usually put the armor on the top row, and then I get. Okay, it's gonna vary from every single person. For me, I use five prayer potions and the rest monkfish, and then I deposit one of those and get my house steely tabs. I'm running out. I'm going lo running low on the house steely tabs, which is not cool. So I'm gonna have to buy some of those soon. And now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna teleport to Carol, Kariel. I really don't know how to say this 100%. Oh, and guys, I forgot something. I have to go get a prayer, uh, magic potion. So I'm gonna pause the video and get a magic potion really quick. Yeah, guys, I forgot a mage potion. I got a don't forget your magic potions. I always end up forgetting magic potions, and they're really useful. Uh, I think at least. And then if you're on zero prayer, which is in between trips, you're most likely to be at zero prayer because when you're in the catacombs, which I'll be talking about, showing you the cat what catacombs really are later. I call them the catacombs. Other people will call them other things, and I I just call them catacombs. And then what you're gonna want to do is in your house, you're gonna want to have a Carol teleport portal, or you're gonna want to use um, <clears throat> your uh, ancients to teleport to Carol, and yeah. And before I do anything else, I'm gonna want to mention if you if you can't afford a Piper staff or your mage is not high enough to use the Piper staff, then you're gonna want to use either Salamander or um, Slayer darts, which requires 55 Slayer and a Slayer um, staff. I'm pretty sure, but I'm using Piper because I can use a Piper and I can afford a Piper and whatnot. So now. On the screen, I'm going to show you the map. The map and the uh, the map will be in the description for the link to the image, and I'm going to play that now for you guys. Alright, guys. So basically, just if you're going to watch, if you're going to want to watch this, then just pause the video and uh, look where, you need, where you're going to need to go to get to arrows. And yeah, so um, basically, that's just the uh, map to getting to care to um, the boat. That brings you to Paros, and uh, basically I'm just gonna be running there now myself. Um, so yeah, it's uh, I didn't do the quest because I just don't think it's worth it and whatnot. And uh, when you see this little arrow, you're gonna, you know you're going the right way. Just keep going down a little further. And these guests will rot your food, and it's pretty annoying. Um, you see, they rotted a little of my food right there, which is pretty annoying. But you know, oh well. You get runes for uh, blood bursts and stuff anyways so that's that equals out because I use blood bursts blood blitzes I mean my head I use blood blitz to get my HP back whenever I uh, loot the chest you get blood runes and death runes very frequently and then what you're gonna do when you get to the boat is click on it to get to barrows and then I'm gonna show you another quick map in a second here to what brothers are which brothers like where they're located and that link will be in the description also for that picture so you guys can use that without watching my video again to find which brother is which or how to get here so you can just have those pictures bookmarked or you can right click it and click save picture as and put it on your desktop or whatnot so I'm going to show you that picture now and uh, I'll see you guys in a second alright guys so as you see here, we got the uh, barrels spots. Top left is Verax. Top right is Derox. Top bottom left is Tarag. Bottom right is Guthans. And the bottom is Carol. And I know I spelled that wrong. My bad. And the middle is Arams. And the link to the, both of these images will be in the description. And I did just get a drop in Arams robe top for two mil, which is pretty cool. So yeah, here's the rest of the video, guys. Yeah, so basically those are what, where all the brothers are, and I'm gonna, I go for the, to the four corners first, 
and then I go on from there. We're gonna do when you're about to walk into a uh, mound here. You're gonna want to go to the mound, and you don't need a shovel anymore. You just click dig, dig with spade. You don't have to right click. You can just click it, and you you go into a crypt. And once you're inside the crypt, you're gonna want to pray and hot and whatnot. So you use your magic potion if you're maging, obviously, and then I select, select your quick prayer is melee because that's, that's the most efficient way. And then you just kill the bear's brother. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's actually pretty fast also with the Pipor staff and whatnot because you're seeing I'm hitting constant 300s with the Pipor because Pipor is just that awesome and stuff. So yeah, you see how fast Pipor kills the Barrows Brothers and whatnot and that was Varox. You do, not, you do not have to pay for Varox but I really highly recommend it because he will still not hit through your pair 100% of the time but he will hit you 2% and for when you're at Varox you do not want to run out of pair because he will hit you for 700s constantly when his HP is low. So you want to watch your HP, your uh, prayer level here. I have not died at barrows, but this is probably going to be the barrows I'm going to die at if I die at any of them. You have to watch your prayer at Darox. You cannot cannot let your your prayer go away. And each every once in a while, a face pops up of one of the barrows brothers on your screen and you'll know when it happens because you'll be like what is this little ghostly looking face it drains your prayer a very good amount so you're gonna wanna watch out for that also so when you see that you're gonna wanna probably pot if, you, if your prayer goes low and yeah so basically you can see how simple barrels really is um, you just go around killing the brothers and then the complicated part comes and when this happens I will show you guys what to do and you see the face right there Derox face popped up and he drained my prayer a bit sometimes it's very high sometimes it doesn't really affect you that much but yeah and as you guys ca can see I'm going to the four corners first and they are the melee and then I will go to a range and then I will go to mage that's just how I like doing it um, you guys can do it any other way it really doesn't matter at all The uh, okay and this is what I want to show you guys when you get to one of them and it says what you found a hidden tunnel you don't want to enter yet, you want to kill all the other brothers before you come back to this, but you got to remember which one this was. And this was the bottom left corner, which is um, Torag, so you want to remember, bottom right corner is the one you're going to have to come back to after you kill all the other brothers. And then next, you're gonna, I'm going to go to Carol's, um, and you, what you do for, I do, what I do for Carol's is I just, I just kind of mage him, but you're supposed to melee him. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you should, yeah, you're supposed to melee him. So yeah, I just, in pipe or staff is just faster, let's just say that. Um, at least for my stats, it's faster, but if you're max melee, then you're probably going to want to use your melee gear at this point. Sometimes you hit very low, but most of the time you're going to hit pretty good on carols, but for some reason it just doesn't want to hit. Don't just take that and see I hit a 300 there. It's not going to, just because he's using range armor doesn't mean it's going to uh, make you hit lower, and you see my hit, my uh, prayer right out there because of the uh, face popping up you get a, definitely want to watch out for that and make sure you click fast when that happens so you might get hit for a high number from any barrels brother any barrels brother will hit you in a high number because they have all the barrels brothers have pretty high stats in my opinion because they can hit you in pretty high numbers constantly so that's a sign that they have pretty high stats and stuff so when I get to um, Arams this is this, this is the point where I whip out my dragon claws and spec them out because uh, it's just how I do things. I mean, you can do your thing, but I'm gonna do my thing. And um, um, every person has their own personal preference on how to kill each barrel's brother. But basically, well, the first time you're gonna wanna come here is basically do what I do because it's just you. You know it works. And then you're gonna probably wanna switch up your inventory, the amount of prayer pots you bring each time, because each time you're gonna you're you're gonna wanna use a certain amount of prayer pots to what you need or wants and then I switch back to prayer to a mage because I just this popular stuff just dominates Barrow's brothers and stuff. Um so basically you're gonna wanna wanna swap out how many monkfish you have and how many prayer pots you bring depending on your personal preference and how many you need. This is basically a good setup for my combat stats at 80 80 attack, 97 strength and 80 defense. And yeah. So once you kill the other five, once you killed five out of six brothers, that means you're gonna have to go back to the, the um, the soft 
the, the amount that you've been at before and then search it and then you're gonna want to say yes I am brave I am fearless and you'll go inside and you get into the catacombs I call these the catacombs basically this whole area and then you're gonna want to basically just keep exploring until you find a way to the chest room and basically there's going to be one open door in the beginning and then it'll expand off into other doors and <clears throat> sometimes it can be a pain and sometimes you find the chest to run away and you put most of the time you want to avoid these long corridors because these long tunnels are just a pain but sometimes you need to go through them but I try to avoid them because it takes a while to run through them and whatnot and um <clears throat> Yeah, you just basically want to maneuver your way around these things until you find the chest. And uh, I think I found it already right here. This is I got this one fast, and then you want to do the puzzle. And uh, the puzzles are really easy. I mean, you probably get one wrong once in a while for a misclick or something. But then you just have to go find the other door because the doors, the doors that are locked switch around. Oh, and before you go in the chest room, the door before the chest room, I usually just get six kills to ten kills depending on what I feel like doing and uh, right now I'm probably just gonna get six kills for the sake of the video being faster and probably if you get more kills supposedly you get better loot but I found that I got like 50 kills and I still didn't get better loot um, but it does affect it for sure if you get zero kills it's still gonna give you crap loot and you're not gonna get anything and stuff but you know it gives you a better chance for higher kills for getting barrels items supposedly so I really recommend getting a six minimum kill count for sure um, and before you go and come to barrels something mentioned is when you go in these tunnels the uh, mound you go in that barrel's mother will pop up randomly throughout this but most likely ninety like fifty percent of the, I'm gonna say sixty percent of the time when you open the chest, which I'll show you here in a second, he will pop up, and that's the occasion that that is happening for me right now, because he did not pop up yet. So that probably means he's gonna pop up at the uh, when I open the chest. So you're gonna it gives you time to get ready, and you get ready for it instead of him just popping up when you walk through a door, which is kind of annoying because sometimes that's probably one of the times you guys are gonna die when you walk through a door and a bear's brother pops up and like Derox and he just one hits you. That would not be cool. <coughs> Never happened to me. Because I usually stay at pretty high hit points, um, which is pretty cool, I guess you could say, and it's pretty useful this way. And basically, just, I got six kills now, so I'm gonna try and go through the store without getting hit. Oh, ah, come on. Okay, yeah, you see, you usually can't go through the door. Uh, you gotta kill, you gotta kill the uh, monster that's attacking you, then go through the door, because they usually won't touch you when you kill the monster. Then directly after you kill the monster, you click the door. The, like right now, like watch, then the answer is pointing toward it. So this one. Yeah. Um, so I got it at that time. And when you get in here, uh melee and I'm gonna and you just just bless. Don't Alright, you can't Alright, this that guy's already blessed. Anyways, um so get ready, do this way. this guy's melee, so I'm gonna want a prayer pot. Melee. And then when you open it, you see he pops up. And this is Verox, I'm pretty sure. Let me check. No, oh, it's Torag. Why am I saying Verox? Torag's in the bottom left, so I should I should know that by now. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Anyways, somebody died in the chest room, which is kind of a fail. You usually don't die in the chest room. That's a fail. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, I've never died yet at Barrows. I mean, you have to fail pretty badly to die at Barrows, to be honest. Um, then you want to eat a couple slots before you loot for the first time. And then you get runes, and then check on the ground. Right-click on the ground. You see, I got a Restore Potion there. Woo, Restore Potion. Not even a Super Restore Potion. This is a regular one. Then what you're going to want to do is go back the way you came. I do not remember, remember the way I came this time because I was commentating, and it just I don't really pay attention to this kind of things when I'm commentating. Um, so, I'm going to try and find my way back. I don't remember which way I came from. I'm guessing it's this way because this door won't even open. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to go through this door, obviously, then, and uh, try and find my way out. So, yeah. Um, what is that? There's bones. It looks like there's something under it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Random things like that distract me. It's like, what is that under the bones? I want to I wanna loot it. Um, 
So once you find the rope to go back up, you just basically repeat the process that you've done so far. And usually, <laughs> why don't I don't I don't know why I didn't have my melee armor. You want to wear your melee armor throughout this because skeletons will hit you even though you're a high level like me. I'm 114 combat at the moment, and they still hit me for a decent amount if I'm wearing my weight, my mage armor. I sometimes forget to put my uh, melee armor back on. And by the way, I did get the runes to do blood burst, blood blitz. So after this video, I'm gonna continue doing barrels, and I'm gonna auto cast a blood blitz until my HP is high, or whenever my HP goes low, I usually cast it. And um, yeah, so we're. I think I'm having a feeling we're pretty close to the uh, exit now. Cause I've been I've been like branching out quite a lot, and basically this place is pretty small overall. It's basically just uh, what this uh, whole catacombs area is is this one like one room in the middle, which is the chest room, and then there's rooms surrounding it all around it, and yeah. So it's not too big of a place. It's just uh, basically rooms around a one main room. And yeah, if you accidentally get the the um, puzzle wrong at the chest room, then you're gonna need to find your way around again. It's not the end. You don't have to teleport home. Uh, you basically just uh, basically uh, keep searching until you find another entrance into the uh, treasure room because there is more than one entrance when that happens. There's there's only one entrance, but if you get it wrong, it closes that entrance and opens another one. So don't think it's the end if you get the question wrong. And the question and answers are on the internet all over the place, so if you guys don't know the answer the answers yet, just Google it and they'll they'll get the answers on there. I didn't get the answers on the internet because they're just simple, but if you don't have very good puzzle solving skills, then you probably gonna wanna search them. And I'm not I'm not finding the exit. You see this is this is why it's good to remember your tracks backward, because if you don't remember you're gonna have to run around pointlessly like I am right now <laughs> so yeah um hmm yeah I, I I get annoyed when I don't pay attention to when I'm walking around um I remember the first room I had to walk through one of these little tunnels so I gotta search through all these tunnels now these little corridors little hallways of walking slow because you have to walk back and forth between the rocks which is kind of retarded uh... they should have how they then change that because you oh come on you didn't okay I want to say I can't open that door no um... hmm still not still not finding that I think this might be it right yeah I think this is probably I remember this direction coming in this direction somehow I don't remember I don't remember how but I, I just remember that this, I think this is the exit right here through this, this hallway of hell. <laughs> and by the way, I forget to mention why you, when you open the chest, you slowly get hit small numbers. Don't worry about it. So yeah, and um, a giveaway that this is the room is when you're. I really recommend playing on resize when you're doing this because this is much better when you're in the catacombs and you you can see the shadow. So whenever you're um, looking for the room, always look for the shadow across the middle of the room to the top right of the room. That always helps me when I'm playing on resized. I always see that shadow. I'm like, there's the room. And, uh, yeah. So, once you go back up, just go back up and go to your first Braille's brother, which is, it doesn't matter which order at all. It's just my personal preference to go to the way I go and stuff. So, yeah. Drink your drink any potions you get, like a super defense potion is pretty common and stuff. Uh, Ring of Wealth, it does not affect your barrels drops, it only affects the um, drop possibility of getting potions. Uh, so I think super defense potions and stuff, are, it does not, it gives you more, like, it doesn't take away a rune, like, it doesn't take away the chance of getting a rune, if I'm, if I'm wrong, correct me, but I'm pretty sure that it doesn't affect like a drop you would get originally, it just adds on the chance of getting a potion on top of the other ones. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm pretty sure through experience I get the regular amount of runes and then on top of it a potion drop. But I'm not 100% sure. I might take off the Ring of Wealth because the potions are pretty useless overall. Um, if you don't want to get potions and you're just going to drop on them anyways, don't wear a Ring of Wealth because it's just, it doesn't give you any defensive stats or anyways. 
And yeah, so hope you uh, learned something from this video's guide. I'm pretty sick, and I'm sorry if the commentary was pretty rough and uh, my voice sounded like crap. But yeah, um, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, if you want, if you have any friends that want to know how to do barrels, this is the video to show. And I will see you guys later.